Good morning everyone. How are you today? Today we continue our lesson is chapter 13 Angle Property. The topic today is chapter 13 review. The objective today student will be able to calculate the unknown angle in angle property. This is the review what you have learned be what you have learned. Angle on a straight line. The sum of angle on a straight line, you know already, is 180. So the figure to show that this is angle on a straight line. We have angle A, angle B. We take angle A plus with angle B equal to 180. Example of angle on a straight line here. We have we have four angle on this straight line we have angle 49 degree angle 68 degree and angle H. angle H is the angle that they are we are going to find so to find angle H, we take 180 minus 49 minus 68 the answer is 63 degree now one more is angle at a point the sum of angle at a point is what 360 here this is the example of angle at a point then angle at a point here we have angle p angle q and angle r we take angle p plus angle q plus angle r is 360 here the example of angle at a point in the angle we have three angle angle 95 angle 132 degree and angle y so to find angle y you take 360 minus 95 degree minus 132 degree the answer is 133 degree now the last is what we call the opposite angle what we call the opposite angle r e equal here we have two straight lines across each other make four angles we have angle a angle b angle c and angle d remember we said what they call the opposite angle r e equal in this angle the opposite angle we have angle a and angle c so angle a equal to angle c and one more pair angle d is opposite to angle B. So angle B equal to angle D. Now this is the example how to find what we call the opposite angle. Here we have angle 58 and angle Z. So angle 58 and angle Z is opposite vertically angle. So angle Z equal to 58 degree. This is chapter 13 review in textbook page 111. Okay. Number 1. AB is a straight line. Find angle H. They said AB is a straight line. Angle H is on. Is angle on a straight line. So you know already to find angle H. And number 2. Find the unknown mark angle. It means that I should to find angle E. Angle E is in the E is in at angle at a point, right? So they tell you this one is 95 degree, this is 124 degree, and this angle A 90 degree. So you have to find angle E. Now letter B E the same. This is the rule of angle at a point. So they tell you the three angle the three different angle already so they ask you to find angle and here now number three a b and c d are straight line find angle j and angle k here a b straight line and also c d straight line and they ask you to find angle j and angle k but everyone I want you to look at angle J first. Angle J is a kind of angle on a straight line with angle 100. So I know that you know how to find angle J easily. 
an angle k you can find this angle k this this one also angle on a straight line but you look a j c and angle j what do you say about that this is vertically opposite angle so you can find angle k easily now number four they said m n p q and r s are straight line find the sum of angle b angle d and angle f this one it means that they don't ask you to find one by one they ask you to find angle the sum the value of angle b plus d plus e together here so that one here we have many angles have angle b angle this one angle s d q angle f so this one you know already this is related to angle on a straight line or vertically opposite angle you just <coughs> think and you can uh, look at more example in the lesson you will know how to do this easily everyone okay everyone you can complete in your textbook page 111 or if you don't have textbook near you you can look at the file and answer it in your notebook okay thank you very much for your pay attention and goodbye